Hey, New Life Church, Tony and Cindy here. Great to see everybody, even though it is virtually. It's at least uh, good to, uh, to know you're out there. Um, you know, um, there's a verse that spoke to Cindy and I this last week that, and, and we didn't even know that we were on that same verse until we talked about it later. And it was, you know, uh, you know, God will nudge you sometimes, and He sure nudged us. And uh, we just wanted to share it with you, and maybe give you a little challenge because it sure challenged us. And it, it comes from Second Samuel and starts out in verse 6. And if you remember, that's where David is making his first attempt uh, attempt to bring the ark of God to Jerusalem. And it, as you as you remember, it, it failed. Um, verses 1 through 7, it talks all about uh, Uzzah's uh, errors that he made and you know ultimately led to his death. Um, but in the second attempt, uh, it was successful. But in between that first attempt and second attempt, David placed the Ark of God in the house of Obed-Edom. Uh, it stayed there for three months. Um, you know, the Ark of God represented the presence and glory of God. Um, in verse 12, it says, The Lord has blessed the house of Obed-Edom and all that belongs to him because of the Ark of God. You know, I kind of... Um connected with Obed-Edom and just wondering, what if David showed up to your house and brought the Ark of God mm -hmm. to your house? Yeah. Where would you put it? Would you put it in the back in the toilet paper closet? <laughs> would you put it by the front door and drop your keys on it on your way by? Yeah. Or would you put it in the center of your house and make him the, the center of your life? Yeah. So my challenge to you would be, what if David knocks on the door and brings it to your house? <laughs> Where will you put God? So just draw closer to God and see how he blesses you. Amen. I, I tell you, it's, uh, it's, this has been a challenging, uh, was challenging to us. And we really uh, kind of meditated on this for a while. And just we kind of challenged ourselves. Are we putting God at the center when we're at home? You know, that's where our church is at right now. And uh, are we putting him in the center and during this challenging time? Um, just think about that. Meditate on it like we have. Uh -huh. and, uh, and 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 put God in the center of, of all that you do, especially in that home. Uh, put Him in the center and see how He blesses you. We love you guys. We sure miss you. Yes. I can't wait to get back together. Um, if you need anything from us here at uh, New Life Church, just please reach out to us. Let us know. We're here to help in any way we can. And uh, even if it's just a just to talk for a minute or say hi, whatever the case may uh -huh. be. But uh, we're here to. Um, to help in any way we can. So just uh, let us know. Again, love you guys. Great seeing you again. Bye. Bye-bye.